welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video my name is stephanie and i'm a london based content creator just reading my comments today on my youtube reply and just being grateful for all of you i saw a comment from waka girl ng i don't know her name but she's an abuja based restaurant reviewer she's like i missed your cookie and this is the first time she's saying it so i was like mm, why don't i just give you guys some okra soup this afternoon if you don't like okra soup this video is for you those people that don't like okra soup because it draws and stuff like that nah if you've not gone to any ivy league school in your life before this is the time for you to experience harvard level okra soup also if you don't like meat this okra soup is perfect but you can even eat it without swallow imagine how non-annoying the okra soup is for people who don't like okra soup normally let me stop rambling and go to start cooking sit back relax drink something calm and then enjoy this recipe with me okay this is the main ingredient okra i cut it in little bits not too tiny just because i love the bold feel and look and i want to get all my nutrients too Next, I cut my onions for their amazing flavor and then peppers. The peppers, the paprika pepper is just for the color. The scotch bonnet is for the heat. Lastly, I chop up my mushrooms. I love mushrooms for the crunch and then just the sides of them in the soup. Besides the vegetables which I'll keep for later, these are the only things that I need chopping up now. So I'll just tidy up the place, go to the room to attend to something, probably take a shower and then come back for my fish. A few moments later. So next, I'll slice the fish from the side so that I can clean it thoroughly, remove the gills from the head, and then get a skewer or toothpick, fold the fish together, stick it through and put it in the oven to become dried fish. When you prep your fish this way, trust me, the flavor is very different from what if you had just boiled the fish. I'll now get to preparing our breakfast. A few moments later After some 10 to 12 minutes, I check up the fish, turn it around and then go back to eat A few moments later Hello ingredients, so that's the shrimps at the top right and then the stockfish right beside the dry fish. I'm going to boil the stockfish because it takes a bit of time. While I do that, I'll go do my laundry. For the stockfish, just put maggi and onions while boiling it and make sure it's soft to taste. It's not compulsory but I really want my okra to have a lot of fish. I'm also going to use crayfish at some point. A few inches later Yay, so it's finally time to cook. You put your palm oil in the pan, just let it steam for a bit and then put all your ingredients aside, the shrimps, the sh fish and the vegetables which includes the okra. So just mix everything together, stir them, let them get used to each other, even cover the pot for like one minute. Now it's time for the fish. If you hadn't done this before, you take off the skewer and break the fish in bits. Take the head off totally. Remove the bone from the middle and also from the side. Make sure you remove the one from the side. You can break the fish in whatever size of chunks you want. Usually I break it in little chunks and then leave like two large pieces. 
You then put your fish into the mixture already in the pot, stir it for a bit, add maggi to taste. Also add your crayfish and then put the prawns in, stir everything together and shut your pot. Ideally, you should have chopped your vegetables earlier. But yeah, there's no harm in the other ingredients getting to know each other better. So vegetables and my okra are the last things I love to put. I put some vegetables, put some okra, put some vegetable, put some okra, and then we're ready to go. Make sure you taste for pepper and salt. For those who don't really like okra, you might want to put more pepper. As I said, you can totally eat this without swallow. I tend to put a bit of paprika pepper towards the end as well, just because of the color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. See you on the next episode and enjoy the next time you make your half-fat standard okra soup. you